What the heck is up guys, it's Jacob here, and today we're going to be installing OwnCloud server. So, um, first off, let me just kind of give you a 10 second brief little explanation of what OwnCloud is. So, you guys know the Google Drive on Google where you can go and upload your files and it has like calendars and it has all that crap and you can sync all your stuff. And it's kind of this place where you keep all your information in one, in one spot. Well, that's what this is. Own cloud is like a cloud server that you host on your own. What's nice about it is Google right now I believe they cap off at 15 gigabytes for the free space on their on their drive on Google Drive. After that you got to pay for it. Um here you don't have to pay for any of it. You're running on your own your own servers, your own hard disks and everything. What's cool about that also is if you go and upload a folder or a, I'm sorry, a file to your uh, server, it's already on your computer when you get home because that's what you're uploading it to is your server or your computer, right? So you don't have to worry about downloading it again or digging around with a file because it's already on your computer. Um, OwnCloud also has things like sync your calendars and stuff, and it's really cool because they have really nice uh, like apps and interfaces where you can upload your pictures. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys where I have the file because I have it on my website. I'll put the link down below, and you guys can just download it straight from my website because honestly, um, to to get it from the own cloud website it's a little confusing I'm not even gonna lie um, it took me like a couple tries but anyway if you go to this share useful software and then you click on the own cloud file server again I'll put a link that goes straight to this page and it's the top post right here own cloud zip and it also is probably gonna download in like two seconds here because it's a local server so we'll wait for it to finish downloading and we're gonna open up the file as soon as it's done Okay, so there we go. So now once we've opened it up, you have to obviously, you have to have some type of a, uh, like a WinRAR or uh, something like, a, you know, WinZip or something, you know, just something to to unzip uh, the file because you can't, it's a zip file, which you can't just throw that in a web server. So now that you have this file, this is the actual file that would go inside a web server. There's different ways to run on cloud. You can actually run it as like a native application, I think on Windows. I think they have a native like application for Mac, Windows, and Linux, which is kind of cool, but I prefer to run it in a web server. That's the best way. So um, in this case, I'm actually going to use WAMP web server. Now, if you guys don't know how to run a web server, or if you don't know what WAMP is, or if you don't even know what a web server is, Go ahead and just Google. I probably have a tutorial on it. If I don't, just Google it or uh, YouTube it. How to install WAMP, and uh, it'll show you a basic video. But if you're not really familiar with how to install like a web server, then this may not be for you. This may be a little advanced. But this is assuming you already kind of know how to basically run a web server. So we can see that we have WAMP running down here in the the uh, tray, the tray menu. And basically, what we're going to do is open up the www directory. So, I mean, this will apply for any server that you're running, whether you're running something like WAMP or LAMP or if it's running Linux or it doesn't matter really what you're running. As long as it's a web server that's running PHP, this will work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this own cloud file here. When we unzip the uh, zip file that's from that I have in the link down below, when you unzip it, you're going to have this folder called own cloud, right? So you just drag that folder into your server into the www directory now make sure you don't drag the zip because obviously that's not going to work guys you have to unzip it so that's what it's doing right now is it's unzipping it unpackaging that that zip file and then it's just going to go ahead and copy it right on over to my uh www directory so we can see that boom here there it is and then when we click on it it has all this crap okay so now you're pretty much ready to go so let's go ahead and break out our browser one more time here and if we go up here and we type in our loopback address 127.0.0.1 forward slash and we'll say uh, own cloud. It's already there. Look at that. So, anyways, and for some reason, this computer runs the WAMP server embarrassingly slow. I'm sorry about that, guys. But, anyways, right here it's just warning us about um, the open SSL extension. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're really uh, concerned about SSL and you want it to be like the most secure thing in the world, then maybe you want to look into solving that issue. You can just Google this up and it'll probably have someone who says the answer to that. But this actually really isn't critical unless it's if it, there are errors that are critical in here, but this is not a critical one. Anyways, um, if you're running like a LAMP server and you're running it in like Linux and stuff, you will have a bunch of things that say to schmod your directories. Um, obviously, if you're running a Linux server, you probably know what that means, and if you don't, then you probably shouldn't be running a Linux server. Anyways, just make up a username. It doesn't matter. 
I'm just going to put my name. And then we'll put a password. We'll probably just make that password. Um, the scary thing is, is I actually use this for like 90% of my passwords. Um, but I'm probably going to change, because I think my actual own cloud server still uses that password. But um, probably going to change that after this, because I don't want you guys getting into my stuff. But yeah, I use that password a lot. So we're going to use the database thing. So to connect to your MySQL database, if you're just using a, a just um out of you know out of the box setup, the uh, standard um, username and password for MySQL is root and there's no password. And then you just make up a database name. What I'm just gonna go ahead and put is own own cloud w n c l o u d. Uh, I can't spell today. So anyways, you can make it whatever you want. And this is what it's gonna store as in the actual MySQL database. And then you have the local host for your database um, server. I mean, that's what it is like 99% of the time, unless it's on a different server. And if it is, then you'll know that. That's a very complex setup. Most of the time, you, it's just going to be local host. So anyways, we're just going to go ahead and hit finish setup. And again, guys, sorry about this, but my computer is uh, ridiculously slow. And actually, I already created this database because I had own cloud running on this computer before. So it's, that's what the error is. So let's just go ahead and make own cloud, uh, I don't know, own cloud three. Because I think I made an own cloud two. But anyways, um, oh, now it's saying to set an admin password because it cleared my password. So let's set our uh, high security password of password. All right, that's beautiful. So now we'll go ahead and hit finish setup and it should work like a beauty now and now it's actually complaining about something else so let's go ahead and see what the heck is running or what the heck the problem is so now it's saying um uh okay it's saying that this user i'm sorry the user name already exists and it does so we're just going to go ahead and just take out the space and then we'll just go ahead and hit uh put our password back in sorry if um this is taking too long but i really don't feel like editing this video so i just want to kind of do this in one shot now it should be working but like i said the server is slow so one thing i do want to mention that will take up a good amount of time real quick here is um when you have a a, a service like this like a file uploading service or like a, a file server you have to uh, change your php.ini settings so let me just kind of give you a quick rundown of what this is um when you go here to the wamp icon this is in any uh php server you have this file called PHP INI. You just go to the WAMP, you click on the, you go to the PHP, and then you click on PHP to INI. If you're running Linux, it's probably in the, I think it's the etc uh, slash PHP5 slash Apache2 slash PHP to INI. That's the directory for the file. Anyways, once you get here, <clears throat> you just go ahead and hit Control F, and you're going to have to edit two um, settings in this file. So what we're going to do is let's just hit, go ahead and type the word post. Um, let's just hit, uh, just keep hitting this, and you'll find a couple of these. So, um, till you get down to here where it says post max size equals. Now, it'll probably by default be 8 megs. It'll say 8 m. Um, you're going to want to edit this to a larger size because basically, when you use OwnCloud to, um, <clears throat> to upload files, or you're doing it through PHP, and these are the settings for PHP. So, if these settings are not changed, then you can only upload an 8 megabyte file. That's the maximum file size you can upload. So you do have to change these. So this is this is um, measured in megabytes. So in this case, 1,024 megabytes is a gigabyte. So let's just change it to 2048 for me just to change the value. By default, like I said, it'll be 8. But you're going to want to change this to something like 2048. This will allow me to upload 2 gigabyte files. If I don't change this, I can only upload... Um, two megabyte files. You'll see why it's two megs in a second. So let's go ahead and hit um, uh, upload. Let's just type the word upload and then we'll find the next and hit the next, 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 till we get to something that's just like the last one. Okay, so here we can see that upload max file size and it's already set to 2048 but by default it will be two megabytes and if you don't change both of these values they should be the same so this should be 2048 and your other one should be 2048 or whatever size you want 
Again, a gig is 1,024, so two gigabytes is 2048. This is gonna allow me to upload two gigabyte files. And again, if you guys do not change this, you can only upload two megabyte files. You have to change this, or the, the cloud server is practically worthless, because what, it, what good does it do if you can only upload two gigabyte files? So once you've edited those two, the upload and the post max file size, just go ahead and file save it, control s, do whatever you gotta do, save it, and then go ahead and just restart the server. So um, we'll just go ahead and restart it here just by clicking restart. And if you're in Linux, then you should probably know how to restart your LAMP server, or you probably shouldn't be running a Linux server. Anyways, once you have it, uh, once you've initially set it up, this is going to pop up, and it's just going to show you all their interfaces. They have some really cool stuff, guys. They have a really nice app. That's what's really cool about this is it allows you to, it's so easy to upload pictures between my phone and my computer on the app, and it's just really amazing some of the interfaces they have. And they have also a client that you can install on your computer where you can connect directly to your server. But anyways, um, this is the actual web interface. The web interface itself is really, really nice too. Um, what I like about it is we have this... Um, little uh, what's it called here that you can just drag and drop so if I go to downloads and hopefully there's nothing embarrassing in here guys but anyways if I just drag like something like this into here right and then it's gonna go ahead and start to upload it you can see that it uploaded it right there and you can delete it you can download it rename it it shows the size it shows when it was uploaded and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty much it for this. I mean, you guys can go ahead and explore through here yourself, and it's got like a little calendar. I probably shouldn't have clicked on that because it's going to take forever to load because this computer is really slow right now. Anyways, um, it's got lots of cool stuff in here that you guys can uh, use. So here's the calendar, um, and there it goes. So it's got like no, it's not just file sharing. It's and you can go in here and it. Under the apps section, there's lots of cool little apps. There's the admin where you can do all the settings, and you can have more than one account. You can have tons of accounts on this. You don't need just one account. So you could use this for like your business or like a school or whatever. It's not, you know, anything just for one person. It's really, really cool. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for how you install a uh, WAM server, or sorry, WAM server. <laughs> how you install OwnCloud, and in this case, we use WAM server. You can install it on any kind of server you want, like a web server or whatever. By the way, guys, I mentioned the apps. You can get the app on the App Store for like 99 cents. It's well worth it. Trust me. Pay the 99 cents. Don't like trip over it. It's a really, really good app. It's well worth 99 cents, and it it's really a nice bridge between the Apple iPhone which restricts like everything you can possibly think of and OwnCloud and you can move files back and forth between your phone and your computer very very easily through that app so it's really really nice so that's pretty much it for this one guys I hope this was helpful if you guys have any more questions go ahead and head on to this beautiful website here the hackhub.com and you guys can ask all your questions here um, Look at this beautiful forum site. Whoop, whatever it went. But anyways, yeah, you guys can go ahead and ask all your questions there. Look at all these people. That's awesome. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick uh, tutorial. And like always, guys, have a good one.